In this video, we're going to learn about University Green, a Cambridge Concierge elevator building at 130 Mount Auburn Street. Stay tuned. So of the dozen concierge elevator buildings in Cambridge, four are found in West Cambridge. And of those four, two are essentially on the doorstep of Harvard Square. 975 Memorial Drive at the Charles Hotel being the first, and the second being University Green, the subject of this video. University Green is located at 130 Mount Auburn Street, and it's more or less across the street, if you will, uh, and down a bit from the Harvard Square Post Office. And when you walk by 130 Mount Auburn Street on Mount Auburn Street, it doesn't sort of jump out as the building itself is set back from the street. There's some nice landscaping that leads down a pathway to the building's front entrance uh, set back. And this building is uh, very popular with people who want the location and also what it offers. And specifically, that is it's a building you can enter without having to climb a step. And upon entering the building, you can get to any unit without having to climb a step. So. As people look to the future and imagine uh, being challenged by steps, uh, certainly this building is quite appealing because it doesn't have any. You can get in and get to your unit without having to do any steps. The uh, building went up in 1985, and it is a building with some 50 plus units. Uh, residents here uh, enjoy either a balcony or if, the residence is on the first floor. There may be a patio. I once listed and sold a unit in the back of the building with a lovely uh, patio. So you do have some outdoor space. Um, you get in unit laundry. Uh, some of the units have fireplaces. Uh, the building itself does have a private common courtyard uh, off the sitting area off the front lobby. And there is garage parking for each unit. Some have one, some have two and the elevator does go down to the garage parking level. So this is the uh, package at University Green. Uh, indoor cats are allowed, uh, but not dogs. So uh, that's the pet policy. We've got to go back to uh, 2019 for the most recent reported one bedroom sale in the building. It was a one bed, one bath with one garage parking space and 1137 uh, square feet on the third floor. And it sold for a million three hundred and forty thousand, uh, and that works out to eleven seventy eight a square foot at the sale price of a million three forty, so just under twelve hundred dollars a square foot. It was a corner unit, uh, so clearly at this point uh, we're at in the building's history, uh, the price points are north of a million. In the two bed category, we can go back to twenty twenty for the most recent reported sale. Uh, a unit on the first uh, floor sold for a million two seventy, and it was a two bed, two bath with a thousand fifty five square feet, so a smaller two bed. And at the sale price of a million two seventy, it worked out to twelve oh three a square foot. Back in twenty nineteen, another two bed, two bath, a larger unit with thirteen fifty nine square feet on the second floor sold for a million seven fifteen. Uh, which works out to 1261 a square foot. So in the one and two bed category, uh, the price point in the building is in and around the 1200 uh, per square foot range in 2021 as I make this video. In the three bed category, we've got to go back to 2019 for the most recent three bed sale, a three bed, two bath unit uh, on the third floor with 1384 square feet uh, sold for 2750 which works out to uh, 1,986 per square foot. The unit featured garage parking for two cars. Uh, so clearly there's a premium in the building for a three bed as exemplified by the sale price and the price per square foot. And then in 2021, the year this video is being made, uh, a rare offering of four bed, four bath, uh, floor through unit on the third floor sold for 5 million. The unit featured 2,780 uh, square feet and two garage parking spaces, and it sold for a premium of 750,000 uh, over the list price. So 
This is the building. These recent sales give you a sense uh, of value. Uh, there are no additional amenities per se in the building. So there's no exercise room, for example. Um, there is a common lobby sitting area and a room that you can reserve for a meeting. Units in the building have small storage areas. So it's a sort of basic package. And although it's near the Charles River, you do not get a, a view of the river from any residents at 130 Mount Auburn University Green. Some of the units on the rear side uh, do have uh, views onto the Ralph Adams Cram um, Monastery behind the building that fronts uh, the Charles River on Memorial Drive. And then of course, those that face the front of the building do have pleasant views of the surrounding neighborhood because the building's set back from the street, which is kind of nice. So although there are not river views, uh, the views are pleasant enough for most all the units in the building. My name is Charles Cherney. I'm a top residential real estate agent, and I welcome the opportunity to connect with you as you give thought to 130 Mount Auburn, known as University Green, or any of the other concierge elevator buildings in Cambridge, or for that matter, any real estate in Cambridge or neighboring Somerville. I'm here to help you buy the right home or sell for the best price, or just answer your questions about the market, your home, and the community. Again, my name is Charles Cherney. I have a link below with more information about 130 Mount Auburn University Green with links there to properties now for sale, pending or recently sold to give you a better sense of the building. And again, I'm excited to hear from you. I'm connecting with people from around the corner and across the world each and every day. And I welcome the opportunity to be of service. Take care.